Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we've got something special. We have Matt's M3 competition. Right, welcome back. So me and, no, he's on. Can't tell, yeah. Me and Matt are gonna, what, run the car stock? Yeah, so it's stock at the minute, but it's got inventory intakes. intakes. It's got Scorpion downpipe and exhaust system. Give it a rev. Um, probably not when I'm in gear. <laughs> Sounds all right. Sounds all right in the car. Sounds all right for a BMW. So today we're gonna give it a run, see how fast it is at the minute. It's slow. It's, well, Matt says it's slow. He's already took it out this morning for a bit of a, a test drive to get a bit, some, couple of bits done. Are we going to drive it stock? Yeah. Like, are we going to do a run stock? Yeah. I'll be surprised if this makes 510 because I don't feel like don't it. Feel, it might be in soft limp because the light's on. Yeah, we've got a light on the dash. We do have a light on the dash. For OPF and uh, cat. So it is probably in Mods. a soft limp, so that's something we have to sort first. We'll probably run it as it is, and then we'll run it with them, those deleted, and then we'll start tuning it up. Do you want to feel what is the feel of the power? So let's go feel the power. It is, isn't it? Like for a, like they are a comfy car. For your bucket seats. Like it, it, it holds you in. Bounce all over the place. It just yeah. holds you in. And I like the dash. Like I ain't got none of that in there. Yeah, it? yeah, the dash is nice. It just feels heavy. Yeah. This car feels heavy. It feels more like an M5 than an M3. Which isn't really what you want, is it? No. I wonder what the M2 feels like. But I guess like, do you know, like, I think this is 1.8 ton. So it is That's a heavy yeah. car for an M3, in it? That is heavy. Go. Right. Wait for the appropriate moment and you can feel <laughs> the power. It just feels like. Does it go flat? Yeah, it just feels like nothing. That's what, the best way I can describe it, it just feels like nothing. Like, it sounds pretty cool, like the induction kit sounds cool, but there's not much there. I see normally when they're in limp, you don't normally hear much of the induction either. So it might, I wonder if it's uh, just because you're on the Aventuris. So, what are we calling it? That was foot to the floor. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah, do you reckon it's in soft limp? It's got a bit of um. It's a bit, it's a bit of a kick there. Unless you go bump. normally on the older ones, you get to about five and a half k, and they drop into limp. Yeah, and I think, I think, you know, because it's a big car, heavy car. Yeah. I think it's faster than we think it is, maybe. But you think maybe because that's what the A45 is like. Yeah. yeah but it's fast, but it didn't feel black. Yeah, because we are doing good speeds. <laughs> Six, Sixty miles an hour. It just feels quite heavy when you go into a corner. It's not too bad, but it's not it's not got the Cooper tune on it. I think that's the issue. <laughs> it's not got like, you know like the way it gets a bit lairer? Yeah. Has it got that bit of yeah. That extra oomph, so it's like probably how it's stuck in three kind of wheels ish. Just come on, come on, come on, come on. Just doesn't quite have it. It it's hard to explain it, but it just doesn't quite have that extra bit. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, it sounds better than the older M3s, though, I would say yeah, that. Yeah, I think it does, actually. It sounds a lot better than the older ones, especially with the, the system we've got on it at the minute. Yeah. yeah it doesn't really drone, does it? No, no, it doesn't drone at all. I thought it was really good, yeah. yeah. When we put it on, like, yesterday, I actually thought it would drone. As soon as you're on the low revs, you can barely hear the exhaust. I mean, like, do, what does... So two wheel, oh, that goes, that's gone into two wheel drive mode. I don't know if that'll have a better power delivery. Maybe. Doing the old circuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit more dramatic uh, to it. Yeah. It wasn't really like, there's no like drama at the minute. 
but is that just because they're used to like the cars that you drive at the minute? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, is, it, kind of, is it because of the use? Yeah, you get spoiled and then you're getting fast cars here. It's like, they don't go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> so for our own safety, I'm going back into four wheel drive mode. Yes, well, yeah, yeah. I've got a history with it. It's all the Lambo. That <laughs> <laughs> rear wheel drive cars. Yeah, it feels better in four wheel drive. It's really bad because you can actually drive so I don't know what happened with that Lambo. <laughs> no, it's all right. The more I'm driving it, the better I, I am enjoying it. You need these roads though. Yeah, these yeah. are these kind yeah. of roads. That's it. Where are you going? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, 510 stock. It's on. a hot day. Normally, there are new cars when you start adding bits, the power don't change. Right. Because, right. They're, because they're torque based cars, you, you chuck extra bits on, and all it does is it lowers the boost and things like that because oh, it can make the power without really right. doing much with it. Right. So it should still be ish. I will say it is 21 degrees though. And it's really hot, which doesn't help. I think that's for this car for two days, but Matt being no, Matt. You've got two hours. I mate. get about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, Phil. Yeah. I've nearly got a full tank of fuel. Full, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. Let's so, go. So, that, it's all right. If you bought an M3, I think you'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's all right. And I then think, about I a think, month later, you'd be like, I want to get it tuned. Yeah, I think if I bought this, I'd take it back and buy the older one. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it sounds better than the older one. It feels all right inside. It feels just heavy. But yeah, it, it's probably the four-wheel drive system on them, isn't it? It's yeah, gonna, that's going to make it. it that much heavier. And all the new crap they put on these cars these days, it's yeah, they're more bothered about comfort than. I mean, it's meant to be a race car. Ish. Right, see what power. Let's see what okay. it does now. <laughs> Tavarish, yeah, come to see us. What do you think of the BMW? This thing is awesome. I really, really like the contrast between the wheels and the paint. Yeah. There's a lot of carbon on it. Yeah. Um, I'm not a BMW guy, but I really like this car. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to make today? Uh, what do they make stock? 510-ish. Okay, uh, 509. 509, <laughs> Matt? Yeah, well, now you've said to me that they like to break, stop you from getting power, I'm going to say 500. 500. Because it's a hot day. Oh, yeah, okay. It looks angry. And it says it looks like this. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you making enough boost? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's What's going to run stock? Uh, five ten. Five ten. But it's a warm day today, so five oh nine. I just said five oh nine. Yeah. See, we know what we're doing. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Sense the thing that kills the so if, if So if Sue makes more power than this, Sue's going to obliterate this. <laughs> yeah. Matt's car, we're going to be using B Flash to actually data lock the car. We're going to run it stock as it is. We do have lights on, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So, even though we can't flash these OBD, we can still work with the log inside with B Flash. And then we've got to flash it with Fento. Let's get the dyno set up. I've got aircon as well. So, that, that's going to set the power up. We might have to just get really sweaty together. <laughs> Turbo manual, four wheel drive. Well, they're saying six. <laughs> it's going to get more than that, though. So we'll set the revs up. So traction all the way off. I think it is all the way off. Looks like it. No, now it is. Yeah, see it off. 
Drift analyzer. All of it. Everything. Now. So run this car in fifth. We're going to do like 200 mile hour. That's okay. <laughs> Smudge my wheel bearings quite much. See where we're at, Philip. Yeah, see where we're at, Matthew. Okay, you ready? Put my seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't think you still wear your seatbelt now. You must have done about 100 dino runs with me now. Just, just, and we uh, haven't died yet. Just feel safe. <laughs> Mind you, he's going to keep doing that. And he's going to keep bogging. Yeah, look, I'm going to put mine on as well then. Yeah, go on then. Let's go. I like it at the minute, it's quite subtle. Crackles, I can take that. Small crackles in F major. <laughs> so, before we started setting this up, I think I put loads on, it's mainly sport. Turn that down to like 1.5. That's how many milliseconds it stays open. Oh, that's about, is it? It's about the well, second. It's about the same as the RS5. Go to about 1.5. We'll, we'll play with it, like, and then you got to get it down. Okay. We'll play with that. Right. So I'm just gonna export that. Alright. Okay. Save. Right. Right, so Femto sent you this little instruction manual we've got to follow. It's up to find it. So, Femto software. So, you got to click the GW detect. That's done. Hold shift and control and click identify. You're about to activate force mode. Continue, yes. Force mode activated. Then we're going to right tune. Maybe 
Yeah, true. Yeah, we're alright still. I haven't done the 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 the, 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 okay. the, the funny stuff yet. Back to seven. Um, switch back to the clash. No problem. It's going it on. Okay, first stop is Phil puts on a little like bass tune, then we work off that. So let's see what we can make of 551. Five, so 551 five, at the minute. 551, five, 700 Newton meters of torquings. All the torquings? Oh no, eight. Eight does that. Does it change all the windows now? Here we go. So we'll save that as it is. That's about the first car you've had that's ran over. Stop. True. It's got to be in it. The worst one is the S S5. All the Audis never ran stock power. The Audis don't, though, do they? I don't know uh, why. It, never the Audis did. Over. The Gallardo ran exactly stock power yeah. when we ran that. Yeah. Uh, all the BMWs. And they're usually pretty good. Like, yeah, I was quite yeah. shocked that the uh, thing it didn't run very well. So here we go. Big run things. Just yet. No. We just did some serious power. Oh my days! That's what, that's what I thought we'd end up around. We've done some serious power. But we won't show it yet. We're not showing it yet. We're through our rubble. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, well, I was. Oh, bloody hell. But we will make a lot more of this. The, 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 the gravy. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what, though? I think first. Check the straps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we nearly went off the domino. <laughs> nearly went off the track like Matt does. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get get A few moments later. He's ready, we're ready. Right, it's Paul. I'm going to do this for the culture. What's Paul? It's Paul's. No aircon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All the power. We're in not sport, we're just in sport. Well, keep pressing, thank you. Press uh, twice. Press M1 and again. Oh, oh I know what I know what's happened. It's because you put a tune on, it's took away my little custom setting. Oh, so like so it's now to sport, then. So okay. where's M? Yeah, that's it. Put sport. That's it, that'll do. And then there's a there's a button which says, oh yeah, you press that, yeah, okay. Oh, hello. Are we in sport now? You need an engineering degree to Get work this car. No, you just have to pay monthly. <laughs> <laughs> how do I? How do I? Where's Carl? Oh. There you go. You're still just in sport. You want sport plus? Here we go. Yeah, sport. Oh Engine. my goodness. Sport plus. Engine. Sport plus. Let's put steering in sport because we want to steer everything. Yeah, I can sport. steer everywhere in here. Yep. Okay, yeah, we're all, we just haven't got traction off, but do you reckon it'll sort itself out? No, that's a good job. Okay. Traction off, baby, let's go. Here we go. Drift analyzer, what's that? Show me how good I can drift. I already completed it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that sounds better. Flaps are open now. Here we go. Alright, let's take bets. What are you thinking? <laughs> let's take bets. What are you thinking? <laughs> 730. Oh my god, that's noisy. Speed the run up. Do not get into what? Engaging stage two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So slow the, we'll speed the run up. Right. These are brutal dinos, like the proper long runs. Yeah, when we did when that lad did it in America, like he's so short. Mm -hmm. The nursery dino. Let's get another run. Off here. Oh, there's a four wheel drive sport. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, me and you go cruising in the Focus RS. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's getting hot. Oh, we're getting, we're getting that, hot. That, that was a fast run. Yeah. It's getting hot. That's me and Matt done on the M3. Now we're going to drive it. Now, now we're going to take it out of the road and see what it's like. Because obviously it's one thing being fast on the dyno, it's another thing being fast on the road. 
So we're going to see if we can put a bit of more smile back in Matt for this car. I'm, good at, I'm good at being fast on the road. <laughs> <laughs> he likes going off-road, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so we'll take this out of the road now and then we'll see if it puts more of a smile on his face than it did before. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Moment right. of truth. Is it better for Matt now? Traction's off, that means we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit better, that. It, the throttle response is already like a lot better. The throttle response is insanely better. We nearly died. We haven't even left the park yet. <laughs> it's a bit noisy, I feel. That's, that's what we want. We like noisy. Yeah, like in, it's a it's a ten, like it's a massive difference already. Like it's literally a massive difference. All right, my side. Yeah. Like the throttle response is insane now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my hat's just come flying up. What's well, a massive difference? <laughs> how, how are we not in a limp mode before? I don't know. That's a massive difference. That's like. Yeah, how is that that's a different car. <laughs> oh my god! That was a. I can't believe the difference. Well, we're, we're, oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. <laughs> I, I, I like it's, that now. It's well better. It's literally well. It, it's like. It's like a different car. But, but, but. That's a, that's a massive difference. Right, win now. Why was it just not like that from stock? Like it get, this is like the, the, the common question when it comes to tuning cars, isn't it? Like, why do they make them so boring when they come out? It's got instant power now. And it, it doesn't <laughs> start pulling. It just carries on. I think I've got a chance against the Lambo. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> This is sick. The problem is though, Matt then decides to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Baz. <laughs> yeah, the whooshing noise is sick, isn't it? We want more whooshing noises. Oh, we'll split up. <laughs> so. That's all done and hopefully Matt is going to enjoy his new M3 comp with how it is now. He's literally getting in it and taking it away on a trip, which you would have seen in his video. So if you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe and all that kind of jazz because it really helps me get going with this stuff. And have a great weekend, guys. Bye.